Alrighty. I'm just going to put the finishing touches on this thin, thin layer of ink on top of this plexiglass. And then I can do an ink transfer drawing. My name is Mark Zimmerman. You're about to watch another episode of Ink Transfer with Mark Zimmerman. Brought to you by the Sanford Arts Program. So if you end up watching this and you enjoy it, you might let them know that, that it wasn't all bad. <laughs> What I'm going to do is transfer ink to the front, which is the underside of this, by drawing and rubbing on the back. I'm going to find that edge of that tape that the ink is inside of and drag this pen along the edge of the ink, or edge of the tape, so I can see where the ink is at. And I kind of I'm drawing a drawing a cow. Let's see. Partly ink transfer drawing is an excuse to scribble. So I am transferring ink here to the underside of this, the front side. By pressing with a pen or even with my finger, transferring ink to the other side. So, boy, are their eyes on the side of their head? This is going to be really dark. I'm going to grab a little bridge. You might have noticed that my hand is in the air when I draw. It's because if I set it down, I transfer ink with the pressure of my hand. So right now I, I want to just darken this in as black as I can get it. This little eyeball here. So I need to steady my hand a little more than I can with that something. So I'm going to use a little bridge. Again, pressure from my finger, my thumb, anything I put, anything that presses down on the back of this paper transfers ink to the front.
And we'll leave a little white spot in his eye, so he's got a little sparkle of light in his eyeball. Again, darken it in. Here I can rest my hand on the outside, outside the inky area, so I can do it without the bridge. Transferring ink with a little pressure and scribbling in a cow. So, oh, it's way down here. A shiny nose. I, mean, I know it's black, but it's so shiny that it comes off as white. I think this cow is kind of wet. I think he's been out in the rain, or she, I guess, huh? Fun with cow day. Just scribbling in the dark values. Really just the darkest of the darks. She's got some whiskers. Hmm. And some dark down in that corner. There we go. That's where the body is at. back and come back and darken a lot of this with my finger. That's 
smearing that I'm getting there it just kind of tells me that where I've been with my finger helps a little bit. I think we should take a peek. See what she looks like. You never really know what's happened underneath there. That'll work. We'll splash a little color on her. Get the ink out of here. Now, I think I can use a pretty big brush. And a pretty light blue. Yeah. So, Just putting in some shadows, more shadows. They can stay pretty light. Come back with a darker blue, an indigo blue. And abuse that brush. <laughs> Never push a brush like that. And let's see where we're darker, darker. Some of that seems just a little dark. I come back and I want my lines to show. There we go. We just need a background color. green up. We'll give her something green to eat. Sneak a little yellow in that green. Sneak a little more yellow in that green. Some blue in here at the top. 
Let me turn the paper so I can get up in there. That's that blue that I used to start with, but I used a lighter value, a lighter. Now, I always sign them in pencil. I think we'll call this Angus Calf and my signature Zimmerman and 2020 is the date. You should note that these are all free for the you can help yourself to these. There should be a stack of drawings near where um, you're watching this video. In fact, you can pick out a drawing you like and then um, watch the video of its creation. Anyway, there's a quick little cow study. Hope you had fun watching. I had fun doing it. Until next time.